Be looking ahead to this summer, where Damian Warner will be looking to continue his surge as one of the world's top athletes and represent Canada at the Pan Am Games in Toronto. Now, as a decathlete, yes, you heard me correctly, Damian certainly knows all about getting his entire body into top shape. He's here to share some of his training secrets. And I have to say, I'm a little starstruck because I did some work uh, covering the, the 2012 Olympics. Um, for radio and you were one of the biggest stories when it comes to Canadian athletes. Out of nowhere, all of a sudden, you came in fifth and you were in medal contention for quite some time. Yeah. So you are at the top of the class here. Uh, <laughs> I, I try my hardest to be. I try my hardest to be. How does one become a decathlete? I mean, we're talking at 10 events. Um, it, it's often said in the decathlon world that the decathlon chooses you. And I think that's something that happened with me. I started out in high school with my basketball coaches. They started a track team there. And they, 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 they saw something in me. And I went out for track and field. And a couple years later, they suggested the decathlon and had no idea, to, no idea what it was at the time. But I kind of trusted them. And, mm -hmm. and it's brought me all over the world. And clearly, you excelled at every single event in it. What's your strength? And what do you need to work on, if, so, if anything? So my strength for the decathlon is my speed, yeah. um, the 100 meters, 400 meters, the hurdles and the jumping event, so the long jump. That's kind of naturally what I started in, and the throws are something that I've got to continue to work at and kind of try to improve all the time. And of course, looking uh, ahead to the Pan Am Games, very close to home, you're a London, Ontario native, yes. so just down the road in Toronto. So how exciting is that? Oh, it's going to be super exciting. As a, a Canadian athlete, you don't get too many opportunities to compete on home soil in front yeah. of the Canadian crowd. So I'm looking forward to that and going to have all my family and friends out there. And it's just going to be an awesome opportunity. Well, we'll be cheering you on. You're going to help us get geared up today for those of us who might <clears throat> already uh, be athletes or looking to kind of get in shape here. So what do we have in front of us? So here we have a whole bunch of different types of equipment that I would use on a, a daily basis. Um, a lot of equipment like clothing and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, you can get a lot of this stuff at local retailers like Sports Check or, right. or, or many other stores. Um, but equipment like this, so you have to find whatever sport you're going to do and then equip yourself appropriately. So right. um, if you're going to go out in the, in the, and run in the winter, maybe a, a jacket, or if you're out in the summer, some, some lighter stuff. That's a very and then powdery thing, by find the some <laughs> shoes that, are, um, that fit your needs. So you can have Nike Freeze, mm -hmm. or you can have shoes with more structure. Right. Um, mm -hmm. And then the rest of the stuff here is just some equipment that I would use on a daily basis to kind of get myself ready for, mm -hmm. for, for training or, or for, for the sport that I'm going to do. And it's a whole new world. I mean, the, the fabrics are different now. People wearing Fitbits and kind yeah. of tracking their progress. So um, you can get all decked out. Now, you're also going to show us uh, some of what you might do. I mean, what does your training regime look like in a day? So <laughs> training for the decathlon is pretty tough. You know, you yeah. have... 10 different events in seven days of the week. So you kind of have to try to mush everything together and try to hit everything throughout the week. So you have to be very efficient in your training. Do you want to show us uh, at least some things? So some of the stuff that I would do for a warm up uh, for, or for recovery is, is use some of these different mm -hmm. materials. So like a foam roller, you could just get down and whatever part of your body is sore, you can get on there and roll out your IT bands or your quads, your hamstrings, whatever yeah. might be feeling tight or sore. Uh, same thing with this with this ball here. It's a it's very similar to the foam roller, but right. a little bit more specific. So you can get areas like the hip flexors and stuff that you might not be able to reach with this. Okay, and that's sort of crucial for you. And and then we like have that. the skipping rope. <laughs> Going to put me on the spot here. Yeah, why not? Um, I have, but I have faith. In I you. train in a in, in a facility in the winter where you can't really get outside and run too often. Right. So you have to try to find different ways to warm yourself up. So I like the, to skip every so often. I'll try to do my best here. And you can kind of just mix it up and do all sorts of things. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was not a user error, you gotta make by sure the way. You, make sure you tighten it first. I make just gotta... sure you have the right equipment. Uh, and how, how many hours per day would you train? So I train usually two or three hours a day. and. Yeah, it's just an awesome time. And voila, one of the best in the world, Damian Warner. Thank you so much yes, for joining for us me. this morning.